Hi all, in this video we will see how Informatica XML source qualifier works. In our earlier videos we have verified different uh, source type, plot file, database, ODBC connections. Now we will see XML source qualifier. It is nothing but passing XML file as an input to our Informatica transformation or Informatica mapping and transform the data and load the data into another XML format or target table whatever it may be. So here before that we will see what is an XML. So here XML is a primary, primarily a platform for storing and sharing of the data. It can be interpreted by wide range of computer applications and softwares uh, and majorly if you see uh, most of the data integration projects are uh, to generate and transfer their data fit in the form of XML form because uh, this is a um, easily readable form by most of the applications in, in our current uh, software systems. Here we have few different types of XML transformations in Informatica. Majorly we categorize them as three types. One is source qualifier transformation. So it is a input XML when we pass to our mapping that is XML source qualifier transformation and XML parser transformation is nothing but if we use an XML uh, file or XML input in middle of our transformation or nothing but in the pipeline middle of the pipeline if we use an XML from somewhere then that is comes under XML parser transformation and XML generator transformation is nothing but it is a kind of target where we generate XML file using our Informatica mapping that comes under XML generator transformation. Now we will see each and everything in our examples. XML source qualifier transformation. It is an active transformation as well as character transformation. What is an active transformation? As we seen in our earlier videos, active transformation takes some set of records as an input and use the result as different set of records means suppose if you are passing some 100 records to your transformation the output may be more than 100 or less than 100 means the input number of records may not be same as output records and uh, like normal source qualifier source qualifier transformation we can use xml source qualifier transformation by dragging an xml source definition to the mapping designer nothing but our workspace or directly manually we can create new one Similar to the other source qualifier transformation, here also the source definition needs to be connected to the target via XML source qualifier transformation. And the source qualifier defines the data elements that the integration service reads when it executes a session. And we cannot link ports from more than one group in an XML source qualifier transformation to ports in the same target transformation. Now we will see a sample example on a input source qualifier transformation and how we can load that into a target table. For this I have a table here it is an employee sample XML file I have I am opening with it notepad. Here it is implies the root node and employee details. Here I have two set of employee details. One is employee number, employee name and department number. This is the one set. And another set is employee number, em employee name with department number with different values. I have two records in this XML. Now I will take this input XML as a source and transform this data into a table. For this I will create a Informatica mapping. First I will create a source import from XML definition. So here the schema files XLD. Here we can take a direct XML file as an input with the same structure or we can create a XSD file. The file defines the structure 
and format of the XML as an input with that the source is created and later we can pass an input XML to that access resource. Here directly I will take XML as source. So this is the XML wizard on what type of XML we are taking. Here how XML used to be generated before going each and everything I will show you what is entity relationships and what is hierarchy relationships. So here how to import XML source in Informatica. So as I said uh, by selecting XML source from the import tab select XSD XML source definition file to the import XML source as we do not have any XSD nothing but for our example I am taking directly XML file as a source and the next thing is selecting the relationship type whether it is an entity relationships or a hierarchy relationships this one the case 2 is a hierarchy rela relationships and the case 1 is entity relationships so when we select either of these the xml source will be generated i will show you this in our designer and later we can do validate the valid xml source by giving a sample xml file this validation should be successful in order to proceed further and deciding the importing options here first one is entity relationships as we seen in our designer entity relationships so here in entity relationships if you have multiple different entities in your source like if you see the entities like results lineup participant property different set of attributes and each and every entity may have sub entities in that case we need to go with entity relationships as an input if the xml file contains this kind of uh, attributes and if you have a requirement to preserve this children data in different database tables or a separate and individual lookup xml for every entity then you should consider er model entity relationship model where you want to transform each and every entity to separate target entities like results into one table and member information into some other table as well as department information into some other table and next is a uh, hierarchy relationship normalized if there is a situation where we have to convert xml file to the xml file post validation and if we need to convert xml to a cobol file or a simple flat file with all the details records information that could be published to downstream then we should consider using normalized mode uh, as we all know what is normalization avoiding conflicts in our relationships is nothing but a simple uh, way of telling normalization so uh, as we have a simple hierarchy in our xml that imply xml just i am taking this hierarchy rel relationship as a as an input mode Here we can convert our XML file to a COBOL file as I said or simple flat file instead of uh, loading into a target table we can also generate a simple direct flat file with all the details that we have in our XML and where we can use those files in our, in our downstream systems. So here I am taking hierarchy relationship mode and normalized XML use and finishing so the xml file is created with the three nodes xm employee number employee name department number so this is what we have in our xml employee employee name employee number employee name department number these are the three values that we have in employee details node so the same you can see in the designer employee number employee name department number so if you want to see more details so this is the root node where employee details of employee xml these are root node employee details where we have three attributes and if you want to see the xsd schema definition nothing but the data type here the details integer string integer now I will load this data into a target table in my SQL server. So this is a target database I have taken. Already I have created an employee table. 
no i do not have any employee table i will create one so here the employee table structure uh, employee number name and department number it is similar to the our source xml structure i am creating it i do not have any records in my table now i will load this table with the our, our xml data i am creating a mapping i will take the target import from the database table name is emp so the structure with the target table now i will create a new mapping m underscore xml source i will take our xml source into this imply xml source as i said in my ppt so the source definition is connected to source qualifier transformation here we don't need to take any other expression transformation directly i can take the target transformation emp target i can map all this employee number employee name and department number to these three values then mapping creation is successfully completed now we'll create session in designer sorry in workflow manager in task developer i am creating a new task s_m_m xml_ source i am associating to our mapping i am setting the properties connections so our emp1 db connection should be target connection and this uh, file location i will give you the file directory for our input file source file name and file directory i will take this directory name here and file name as emp so the source connection and employee connection is target i think you all know about all these properties you can refer our earlier videos here it's an xml reader the property is xml reader so the folder source file directory is uh, d informatica and file name emp xml done so in connection is already set so you can set this ftp connection or no connection i will make it as none we no need to specify this uh, x source connection value now i will create a workflow for this in workflow designer workflow create w underscore xml underscore source i will take this session into this workflow i will join these two using line task now i will run this workflow start workflow executing start workflow command so we can see its progress the session ran successfully we can refer the session log get session log so in target emp requested rows are to after rows are to affect rows are to the same you can see here so this is the data that is completed and loads load summary of the target table 
and the source it 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 read two records and in the target it it applied two records now we'll see the data 